all factories giga and their respective progress for the week ending January 25th. And I'm very tired, uh, but here we go. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Giga Shanghai. The steel building being erected in the northeast corner of Giga Shanghai continues two things, the first being its rampant pace towards completion, and the second being its wholesale refusal to give us the first clue what's actually going to be in there upon completion. There are some massive spans in this space, so surely that means something, but, but what? Only time, or perhaps liars, can say. The big steel structure at the north end of Phase 2 continues its unnatural habit of being built. And similarly, we don't know what it's for because workers haven't leaked this information, or they don't know, or both. Though my wager is on all of the above because, you know, we don't know. The structure being flaccidly erected to the south of Phase 1, just north of the battery building, continues its move toward completion. And I'm looking at my notes here to determine what we know about the purpose of this particular structure. And let me see. Let me just check. Look at that. Similar to everything else, we're just not sure. The exceptionally heavy footing suggests it could be for stamping or casting, but we just, well... This just remains to be determined. The eastern egress is showing signs of reaching a point where ingress may be permissible fairly soon. Like I said last week, within a month is my guess. We do know that this is, well, it's a road. This will allow access to the site from the east, though in consideration of the half dozen bridges already connecting the site, what reason there is for this may also remain to be seen, but look at that progress, my friends. Look at it. Eastward expansion into the newly acquired land continues with yet more concrete completed. And before you guys flood in to remind me that no one may buy land in China, only lease it from the government, permiso me to remind you that acquire only means to take possession of, not to own until eternity. Renters acquire apartments, much as Tesla has acquired this land. If you have any idea of the terms of this land acquisition, or lease if you prefer, pretty please comment below to let us know. The area cleared betwixt the buildings on the east side of the site between phases 2-ish and 3-ish have gone from piling storage to graded pile-ready land, lending additional credence to the theory that this is going to be the site of an additional structure. The staging area at the southernmost point of Phase 1-ish near the power plant is well cleared for materials staging and may soon move into a construction phase, but on account of this being Giga Shanghai, we literally have no idea. Maybe they're going to use it as a Build-A-Bear workshop. It's just not known. Zsa Berlin. Giga Berlin. In Berlin, we can clearly make out new roof and floor segments, along with more fire escape columns. And despite the inclement weather, progress continues. It turns out that in countries where winter exists, the builders are prepared for it and are able to move forward accordingly. Sehr gut. The forest of temporary container offices suggests there is work in progress within that we're just not able to see, which will expedite the process toward production of a Made in Germany Models Y or others. 
The number of roof and wall segments required to completely enclose this massive primary structure are now so few one could count them if they had sufficient time or interest. 141. I didn't count them, but that's that's a number, and it, I mean, it sounds authentic, so I figured I'd just suggest it and see how you folks might feel about it. No? Too presumptuous? Fair enough. Fun fact, I tried to suggest these types of before and after progress videos to a number of Giga Drone channels before I launched my own comparisons, but they didn't receive my messages or maybe just didn't see enough value in the concept, even enough to reply in the negative, I don't know. Funner factor, since my channel has started getting recommended by YouTube, several channels have started their own before and after videos, with some using a format of very similar to mine, including notations, explanations, and even side-by-side, site-by-site comparisons, without so much as hinting to their viewers where they may have come up with such an idea. I'm not bitter. I'm honored. If these existed six months ago, I'm not even sure I'd have been confident enough to launch this channel, yet here we are. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot more roof segments right there. Giga thanks again to Tobias Lind for allowing use of his footage. He's got a fantastic channel over there. Link in the description. You gotta check him out and give him a subscribe if you don't mind. A rare look inside shows the floors are already in and at least this part of the building is just waiting for utilities and equipment. I want to offer a quick thumbs up to my Patreons with so many thumbs, you have to wonder where I got them all, but rest assured, you still have yours, so I probably didn't sever them from someone who had fallen asleep. It's fine, it's fine. My patrons enjoy early access to videos, like part two of the Cybertruck Myths Debunked series, as well as a look behind the musky curtain, and all while helping the channel. It takes me an awful lot of time to make these videos, and although my wife complains a lot less about my time invested now, she'd still be a tad more jazzed if it could raise to even a modest percentage of minimum wage. I don't know. I wouldn't pay her much mind, though. As amazing as she is, she's still a terrible judge of character. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, she married me, after all. Giga Texas. The casting area has gone from mostly sticks to partially roofed, with the mega casting machine from Idra already being installed. See my video about the overall progress of Giga Texas being at 40% for more information on that. The eastward expansion to the steel building continues its march south, with more having been built and more roof areas covered as well. What was last week a mess of activity is now quiet, since they're just waiting for steel columns, which largely appear to be on site and ready. The isolated structure we saw sprout out from nothing just two weeks ago is almost connected to the main structure now. The concrete cathedral now has all but a handful of trim pieces in place, with the roof fully decked and awaiting a layer of finishing concrete to fully cement the structure in place. Vastly more steel has been delivered, suggesting that the coming week or weeks may see this area fully sticked out into its roughly final frame. 
concrete work has continued inside the cathedral. Some days there may be too much rain to poor footings or other exterior features, but covered work can continue in its place now that we have roofs and, you know, concrete doesn't like getting quite so wet. To be clear, this is not the most recent video from the site, but the one from the day before, since the most recent one was on a day so foggy, I wasn't sure if I was looking at Giga Texas or just bobbing for cotton balls. The staging area appears to have a substantial amount of concrete panels on site, and since the main structure is largely completed, it's safe to assume that these will be wall panels instead. If you're following the weekly Giga Texas math tracker, once wall panels are attached and spaces are closed in, it starts the four month clock on interior completion for those spaces. If you're not familiar with those videos, I'll pop a link in the corner, but consider subscribing with the bell so you can just see them as they come out each week. On the west side, we can see significantly more footings have been dug, and completed with quite a few more still in progress and the GeoPier equipment is gone? Well, it's not gone exactly. It's been moved to the northwest corner where work has begun to ready the foundation installation in the area we now believe will be the battery shop. Thanks to Joe Tetmeyer for these pics in which he shows what the layout of the site is likely to look like upon completion. The West Steel structure has continued its rampant rampage towards completion as well, adding more whole segments, additional height to what we saw last week, and increasing its overall floor space by almost double. Which apparently is impressive, yet when I double my overall displacement, somehow that makes me fat? <laughs> what? The amount of steel staged in this area has increased significantly since last week, so we should expect to see vastly increased erection over the coming week, in large part because everything's a bigger in Texas. Or so I'm told. Quick note, if you decide to support me on Patreon, not only will you get access to behind-the-scenes info, early access to videos, and more candid conversations with me, but you'll also get an on-screen shout-out when you join. And if you've already joined, no worries. I can give you a shout-out every time you increase your pledge, because without your help, this channel would be hard-pressed to exist at all. So stay tuned, stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots all up in these comments, and I do read every last one of them, so let's hear it.